is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks where we unbox and review cool shit almost every single day and in today's video we are unboxing and reviewing something very, very cool and this is straight from Don Dracula himself, aka Sleazy P. Martini. Yes, I have a package from the entrepreneur extraordinaire and yes, he knows Guar. He's their fucking manager. I know Guar. I'm their fucking manager. So I don't really know what took me so long to get around to buying one of these. I know that they've been out for quite some time now, but I was recently on Hyper Real Productions' website, which is pretty much all things Don. So it's Sleazy P. Martini's website, it's Don as an artist website, there's a bunch of links to different things that he's involved with, and uh, he is definitely a multi-talented dude. Clearly, we all know that he plays Sleazy P. Martini in Guar, and if you didn't know, now you know. Woo! Sleazy, uh, he doesn't have any ears, man. He doesn't have any fucking ears. Hey! You fucks think this is fake, don't you? I can tell by the fucking smiles on your face. Well, if you don't believe it, if you think it's fucking fake, come on stage here. Sexy will cut your head off while I fucking shoot you in the face. Ooh. Ooh. Sleazy. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm Ooh. sorry. I just... You're president now. You don't have to do that kind of shit. You're right. Anger management it's cool. class. Right. Where were we? Don't know. Uh, oh yeah. Why do skinheads wear red suspenders? Hmm. Uh, album version not good enough, assholes. To hold his pants up! Oh! Sexy, yeah! He also does a shitload of the behind the scenes work with Guar's outfits. I know he does a lot of different sculpts and has for quite some time now. And clearly it doesn't stop there. He does a lot of the painting and stuff like that. He's also produced a lot of different Guar DVDs throughout the year. So there are a bunch of these live shows that are shot really well and have really good audio. That is all Don as well. So if you guys are interested in checking that type of stuff out, I am going to be dropping his website down below. Make sure to go hit him up and let him know that I sent you. And I've also noticed lately that Sleazy has been a lot more active on YouTube. That's right, losers. If you make it, someone will see it. And you're the proof. So I'm going to be dropping his official channel down below. Make sure to go check that out as well. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get on into the package here. Try to cut nice and easy as to not damage anything that would be in here. Although I'm sure that it is packed to perfection with the utmost protection. He probably even clothed this thing in a condom. So let's take a look. Oh, the only thing worse than packing peanuts, but at least the item itself is safe. We'll try to take it out of here as easily as possible while also just making a fucking mess in my office. Okay, good. Good deal. All right, so here is the item wrapped up in bubble wrap. Clearly, it is a giant dong. Let's go ahead and uh, take this tape off. I can't tell which end is which, which ironically is the same thing that your doctor said when you came out. All right, yeah, I'm figuring it out now. Professional unboxer, you know how we do. All right, slowly but surely, take a look. Oh boy, oh boy. I have not seen this thing yet. Didn't even see progress pictures. But what we have here is one out of 200 Sleazy P. Martini finished statues, and this is fucking extraordinary. It actually looks a lot better than I expected it to, because these are all hand-painted by Don himself, as well as the sculpt. Obviously poured in resin there, so this is all Don, all Sleazy, and it looks pretty fucking rad, and like I said, these are numbered. I wonder what number I've got. Number eight. Nice. 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 Definitely a towards the top number there, especially out of 200, so that's fucking sick. I really love the glittered paint that he used for this suit because if you know anything about Sleazy, you know that he's got these glittery ass gangster pimp suits. They're made out of some sort of upholstery or something, and uh, yeah, they're fucking sick, and the paint itself definitely matches that, so that is super, super rad, and I literally only bought this to put next to my stage use Sleazy hair. There was this weird gap in the display, and I just felt like this would work perfect, and I definitely think that it's going to, so. I am very, very happy with this thing. Super, super cool. Sleazy is hands down one of my favorite Guar characters of all time, which is pretty cool because he's not even an alien. He's not Guar. He's a guy that took advantage of Guar and became their fucking manager. So I think this is super fucking rad and it definitely looks good. 
So yeah, this was $200 shipped and I got it within the two weeks that I ordered it, which is pretty impressive because he was doing a convention when I placed this order and the wait time on the website says two to three weeks. So definitely a good transaction given the circumstances. Not only were we hit with this fucking pandemic, but as I ordered this, he was also in a different state doing conventions. So I have absolutely no complaints whatsoever. Definitely happy with the purchase. And I think that is just about it for the video. Something a little bit different, not quite a figure, not quite a mask, but all in the same, I definitely think that it fits on the channel, so I'm just trying to keep you guys entertained through this fucking drought we're in right now. Love me, damn it! So yeah, I think that's gonna just about do it. As always, I'm gonna leave you guys with some nice up-close shots of the product, and that will be that. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed. Hope that you guys are staying safe and sane out there. This has been AJ Good at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol, and until next time, we will see you guys later. Traffic, keep me moving around